No score through the first three innings. Middle innings upon us. And hopefully in a short time from now, a left-hander will be taking the mound for his fourth inning of work. Matt Perk. Hey, Matt, congratulations on signing with the Nats after getting drafted. Good to have you in town today. And I thought you handled yourself great at the press conference today. How did that feel? Oh, it was good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was good to get, in, get out here and uh, get in front of everybody and uh, get this thing finally done. So what do you think of the place? Oh, it's great. It's phenomenal. I mean, the stadium, the facilities, are, they're amazing. And uh, the people, the fans, everybody's great. We were going to have a little fun with you. I was going to act like I knew nothing about you and interview you like you were a shortstop from Duke. And <laughs> my partner said you're on your own. So we decided not to give you any don't, don't mess with left <laughs> yeah, Don't mess with it. You know what? I, I saw you pitch uh, on ESPN. It was either last year or a couple years ago. And tremendous stuff. I think the only question was this year was your arm and the health of your arm. How's it feeling? Oh, it's good now. Uh, I had uh, a little trouble, but uh, I was able to uh, really uh, work out and uh, take some rest that I needed, and then uh, that really changed everything. Once I got some rest, uh, I got back to my normal self. It was just bursitis, right? Yeah, just uh, just needed a little rest. And, Matt, of course, a couple of years ago, you were drafted by a team that could be considered your hometown team, either the Astros uh, or the Texas Rangers, and Texas drafted you at that time out of high school, and then you decided to pursue your college days. What went into that decision, finally giving the Nats a chance to draft you a few years later? Uh, just a couple things. I mean, uh, uh, it was obviously a great opportunity, and, and I learned a lot from it. Uh, just wasn't the right situation for me, and uh, I had a great school in uh, TCU that uh, had given me a good scholarship, and uh, I decided that it was best for me to go to college for two years and uh, learn a little bit about baseball and uh, a little off the field stuff that are that are going to help me up here. Miguel Cairo leads off for the Reds top of the fourth inning. Jordan Zimmerman has him 0 2 Cairo flight out to right field first time up and a breaking ball is a, a little bit low and I know from what we've read about you you've been pretty serious about your work in the classroom you you epitomized what a student athlete should be about congratulations on that. Thank you sir. Uh, it's a uh, it's not only just to be an athlete but to uh, really work on your school as well. Um, and it's tough when you gotta do two lives, but uh, if you succeed in both, it'll definitely pay off in the end.